No, I'm good. How did you keep your spirits up while you, uh, Prison. how did you keep your spirits up while you were in jail? In jail? Yeah. Your spirits. spirits. My spirits. How did you keep your spirits up? I was, excuse me, I was in an excellent condition in jail. Because I was there because I wrote the right thing. I wrote the future in uh, taking part in the leaflets. I knew that the Nazis will perish and the communists in Russia will disappear. That was my faith. And we got it. And we got it. And uh, otherwise, I was a very good sportsman, as well. I was in a good condition as I was arrested in France as a soldier. And uh, I could live from this perhaps three or four or five months still active, but then it was a little bit complicated. <laughs> Sometimes I found myself lying on the earth. Not, not complicated, but... Do you think you only got a five-year sentence because you were in the military at the time you were arrested no. as opposed to being a civilian? No, because I had fair hairs and I had blue eyes. Because that was really said by that. He cannot be a, a communist because he has blue eyes and he had fair hairs and so on. That was... He could only laugh. And uh, it's a years uh, when the American troops came in uh, in Germany, we were, I probably said, we were evacuated, you know, and we were marching to south because in the Alps the Americans will see how the Germans can find nothing. The German soldiers, if they get in, many of them were from south Germany, they disappeared at night. <laughs> you went down. <laughs> Because the last uh, area, the biggest stu stupid could see that the war was lost. <laughs> That's clear. And uh, we, uh, I took, uh, repeat, you know, I took my bicycle. And bicycle 80 kilometers to the University of Tübingen. That's our university. How do you stay in shape now? You look like you're in excellent shape. Still taking his bicycle. Yes, I'm, I'm, What's a, the good, I'm a good Do you eat, do you eat healthy? I have no problems, I'm not ill, I'm... Yeah. What's the secret? <laughs> What's the secret? Uh, minimum of fat, maximum of eyeballs, was it eyeballs? Protein. Protein. Yeah, protein maximum. Uh, and always joy if you eat. You must, you must like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you must not say... <laughs> must like to eat. That's enormous, and that helps. And uh, I was, I was taking from a Nazi his bicycle, you know, at the end of the war. I had a pistol from an American soldier, but no munition in it. <laughs> yes, that's my bicycle. <laughs> yes, he said yes. The first of me took the bicycle and went home. And to our farm, the dog owned, yes, mm -hmm. and went in and uh, went in the house. And then I, I was crying, Mutter, Mama. And Mama came and had to sit down. What did your father say? It was not important. <laughs> <laughs> My mother was important. My father never visited me in prison. Never. My mother was it. I have a big, big opinion of the power of the of women if they see their children, their sons and their daughters in danger. Then they are really heroes. So as you went to university and then your later life what was your relationship with those whom you knew to be Nazis? Was it difficult to be on normal terms? Then you couldn't more find Nazis. 
<laughs> they disappeared in a big hole, perhaps. <laughs> or something. You couldn't find Nazis. Every, uh, he was perhaps a hundred percent Nazi, but he was no one Nazi after the Americans were here. Then he was a normal German. And he was drafted to be a Nazi. But today I see. Uh, only, con only regarding the cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, camel and so on. That was. Uh, and then the country started up with the Russians. Yeah? And that was a bit luck for the Germans. That's clear. Because the Germans were the biggest country in, the, in Europe. At the most. Uh, 70 millions and so on. So the Germans were suddenly uh, friends. Mm. Yeah. After how many years we got out of prison with the warrant? How many? How long have you got out of prison with the warrant? Two years. In uh, seven prisons, some bad, some not so bad, and some nearly good. <laughs> but it, it was, uh, I was in a good form. I was trained first by the army, you know, in Epinal, in France, and I, uh, I was in a good form. I, I didn't come in and, and as, a, as a concentration camp uh, uh, man. I came in with a good help, and, uh, and I never stopped this training me. In myself, not not very quickly, not very strong, but move yourself, be in action, and don't lose your hope doing that, and so on. And one day, it was a little bumping, a little little pull, and the door of the prison was blown up by an American unit. <laughs> Then I went to them, and they were wonderful. The first was I got was a candle. <laughs> no cigarette. <laughs> I was a little bit like that, you know, because the smoking was... I tell, tell the, the, the story is so wonderful, therefore I tell it two times. <laughs> <laughs> the United States liberated us, and until today, me and my friends are grateful. That's it. And you can be proud that you live in Europe, not only Germany, Europe, Italy, France, and so on. You all just did it. And you lost sons and fathers in this war. Yeah, that's it. I don't understand you. What career or careers did you pursue after you got out of prison? I, I can't understand. What was your uh, career, your profession? After prison. What, what my profession was? Your beruf, was it a profession? Ah, so, profession, yes, sure. I was studying uh, uh, philosophy, Latin, Greek, and, 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 and I think that was it. And I had an examen at the end, and then I could act in, uh, in, uh, in my town, in Ulm. Uh, I was one of the most requested uh, people in schools, because now the young Germans must hear the truth. And that was an enormous work, because they were infiltrated by the Nazis and the East by the communists. So, so, you, know, you must help them. What's history and what is honor and what is Anstand and what is uh, being uh, human and so on. You must tell that to them. And that worked. I'm very proud that we have in this young Germany practically no Nazis and no communists. 
I cannot speak directly of from the East. There may be some elder communists still there, but in the Western countries, as Bavaria or Württemberg and so on, nothing. Nothing. There is generally, I don't know what you feel, but generally the United States are regarded as a friend from the majority of Germans. That's clear. And uh, as I heard that you would like to hear something from me, and so I was immediately saying yes to Americans always. Because they gave me, they gave me my life. What would you think that the SS had, had done with us if you wouldn't come to Germany? Yeah, I owe my life your country, or your soldiers, or your soldiers. Do you still talk to German youth tonight? Yes, yes. Every week, let me say, my wife says three times, I think two times. Every week. There are coming people to the, to the university and they want to be asked. They ask all the life, who, who was really in his time. And so uh, I'm a very, I have a very good employment. I can speak about the friendship and the truth and the courage which combines us with Americans, with British and with some other people. And now the world is a big piece better than in war and before the war. And I'm very glad that I helped a little bit by doing that. Good. Do you know anything about I would I would like to have a glass of wine. The teacher that was involved. <laughs> <laughs> Always water. <laughs> That's the other secret. <laughs> <laughs> but try. Try please. Try. Not sweet. Have you ever given talks in the e old east? I mean in eastern countries like yes, Poland yes, and yes. Hungary and you have. Yeah, yeah, in Hungary not, but uh, East Germany, yes. Uh, Hungary young times, yes. No, but you know, they accept you as a hero here yeah. because the young people in the schools are learning the reality mm. that uh, uh, they have no more propaganda yeah. departments <laughs> for, for being, uh, you fill up your, your head with, with lies. Yeah. And it's therefore, uh, we can be now in a, we can be content with our youth. And uh, slowly, once more, slowly, slowly, yes, but always more and more we have a free Europe to coming together. It's the United States, sure, American soldiers are here, you know, and uh, we see the films, mm -hmm. so it's very important that you see uh, modern films, you know, which were made in the United States or something else. And uh, I am, if you ask me today, are you content? I ask you, oh, what is content? But it's much better than I thought. You know, it's much better. I hope you have the same fundamental feeling. So they're not foreigners or enemies or like that, this stuff. Uh, the, know what the Americans have did to us. I was liberated by them. I was liberated by them. And I never forget it and I always say it. <laughs> did, did you did you find it hard here in like the late sixties and Just, uh, early was, Oh please. <laughs> That's the important thing. Not bad. <laughs> no. no. I was saying, did, did you find it hard in the late 60s and early 70s when there was so much anti-American, anti-British feeling here with the youth? No, that, that I was not. I was. I, was uh, I, I, I spoke against it. I said, who liberated you? If the Americans would have been the Russians would stay and say, okay, I didn't be far at the Rhine. That's so clear. 
every, uh, if, if you close your eyes and so on, perhaps then you can believe what you believe. But the Americans liberated us and they lost their soldiers by doing that. And we have to be grateful and we have to bring this back to our young people. And we do it. Oder? Oh? <laughs> yeah. Did you meet some of your friends after you got out of jail that you had before? Yeah, sure. See, I meet them today when they are still alive. Such a friendship never disappears. You know, if you see the death, if you see the white color in the eyes of the death, and you are together with two or three friends. You will never be separated in the first life. That brings together. Have you ever met any of the French people that helped you during that you knew in France? Have you ever gone back and found any of them? Yes, I, 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 I had some French people, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, which helped me and which are forgetting that uh, we had war together and that we must have a new Europe and the world, uh, a good connection between the people and so on. It's, it's exactly that for this war in the time of, of the big bomb, that is self mode was I said, uh, suicide. Suicide. Su su suicide. That's, that's impossible. So we are in a in a, in a big, big, wonderful situation, we have to be friends. Hi. Excellent. Freut mich, dass einige nicken. Ja? Ich verstehe noch einige Deutsch hier. Ja. Wer kann Deutsch? Who speaks German? Oh, ja, ja. Ja. Me also. <laughs> yes. And so one of, one of our friends are keeping now uh, many, many Germans were emigrating in the United States. That's clear. So we had a, a, we had a friend over the ocean. And uh, these American soldiers, we spoke a bad term, but we spoke term for their mother and so on, came to our house and, and to our village in Ulm and so on. And I never thought they were innocent. They were friends. I said, let's see that we have a better future and war must be such and so on. Except exactly with that. And uh, until today, uh, Americans are for me no foreigners, they're friends. So they simply, I always in my life. I don't know about the other people my age in the group, but I always thought of Germany as our strongest friend in Europe. I always did. Nice. And that's, true. that's the way I always think of it. It's true. Uh, what, was, what was the country where the Germans are going in? To America, to the United States. Normally in our in our village, five, six, seven, ten, twelve were immigrated to the United States. That's, that was nearly normal. In which country else? Not too far, no French thing, but English it was better to learn, you know. They were, they were really connected to German or German to English and so on. And the American groups were really Großzügig, was heißt großzügig? Generous. Generous, they are really generous. They came as friends, and the friends, they came as enemies, and these enemies were generous. <laughs> and that was the best learning for the Germans. There they could see how good it was if you had not shooting against the other, you were speaking with the other. That was a big, big event. And until today, I think it lasts. I hope you have not the feeling you are in a, in a foreign country. 
because many, uh, the majority of the immigrants, immigrating Germans, went to the United States. There are a lot of Germans over. So, ich habe noch Wein im Glas. Da bleibe ich noch ein bisschen hier. Was heißt das falsch gesagt? Sie sind nicht müde. Sie siehst doch, dass wir hier sitzen. Und wer gehen will, kann gehen. Das ist doch einfach. Who wants to go, can go. Yes. Is there a picture of you in the White Rose exhibit at the Uni over here in München? Yes, yes, but, but uh, yes, that's my wife. Um, she knows it better. Oh, oh. Huh? Yes, there's, there's a picture, a picture. Yeah. yes, yes. When he was young, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, I can repeat it once, once more. My hope was, my hope has been the United States of South America for liberating us, for helping us, and for helping us. There was a big hunger in Europe, and we have to thank that and not to forget it. That's clear. Do you have some questions? <laughs> I'll ask one last one. Were you? Tried by a military court or civilian court? When they, when you were charged, were you tried by a military court or a civilian? No, a military court in France mm -hmm. near the, the Alsatian uh, okay. frontier. And but uh, I was arrested there mm -hmm. and brought to Munich. Okay. And uh, the first, first I was beaten, <laughs> as Nazis do with you. But uh, if they beat you, you are a little bit more against them than before. <laughs> These stupid guys didn't know that. And uh, so one day, the American troops came. They liberated me. One a jeep, two jeeps. They are driving to Munich, but a little, little, was heißt Umweg. Detour. Detour. Detour to our farm. They got, they got lost. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and, the, and the state there. Uh, eating, good, good uh, helping, uh, walking, and helping in, the, in our farm. Because two of them were farmers. Oh. And farmers don't sit so. He says, is there are farms that say, what, I, what can I do here? <laughs> <laughs> My, 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 my father, my mother, yeah. ah, these Americans, this enemy is wonderful. <laughs> 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 but, but, but you know, it was never in Germany, in the part where I was living. The Americans were not regarded as enemies. Because too many Germans were there. And uh, immediately food came over. Charlie, that was that was clear, and I have uh, I repeat it the third time. I have to, to say thank you to the United States. A few hundred thousand are dying by hunger. Mm -hmm. If you would have uh, them, your help. That's very clear. Especially the first winner. Especially the first winner. Yeah, right. especially the first winner. Yes. Terrible, terrible. So, so I want to thank you for resisting the Nazis. Yeah. If you have, a, if you have a, a minimum of human feeling, you cannot be a Nazi. And then you have to try to do what you can against these guys and to find helpers and friends in the first incredible conviction
that our lives will win the war and we have a free Europe and a free world. And I think, I think we got it. <laughs> it's incredible. You know, in which situations have we been? In a, in a, I was one week in a dark cell, you know, without any light, without any... No. It's like Americans came and can only say thank you. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Enjoy your moment. <laughs> yes, I do. We dürften ein paar von den Schülern Fotos mit Ihnen machen. Ja, ja. Ja, wer möchte ein Foto haben? Ein Gruppenbild machen? Ja, kann man auch machen, oder? Kann oh. ich für euch machen. Where did the right, white rose meet? Where did the white rose meet? Where did they meet, like, to talk? Organize. Organize. Where did they meet? What was meant when you said meet? Treffpunkt, was they had to meet. Oh, so, where did they meet? On certain, certain corners, a little bit outside. Far away from the Kreisleitung and the Nazis, and uh, in an old, old, nearly crashed down, uh, uh, in a new hut. Yeah, it was dangerous to go in because <laughs> something could be mm -hmm. done. But seven meters, and the Nazis didn't go there because it was dangerous or something else. And we could, we could really nearly free have contacts and we could really have make uh, had the possibility to have some connections in Germany and to give some Germans intelligence intelligence Germans a feeling the war is lost and we must have a peaceful world and we can must have a minimum of criminal acts here. If you can do that, do it against the Germans, their own Germans. And we did it. We did it. And I think we can, we can be content. And at the, uh, once more, again, thanks to the United States. Yes, I, I take a drink on the, for the United States. A toast on the United States. Please drink with me. <laughs> 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 Yes, yes. <laughs>